Google search can help feed your curiosity and your stomach. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. The next time you search for a restaurant on Google, you'll also be able to order food right from the search results. Google searches made on mobile phones include a link to place an order for nearby restaurants, and that takes you to a delivery service like Seamless, Grubhub, or Eat24. So why is Google doing this? Because it sees Yelp as competition. It doesn't want you going to Yelp to search for a place to eat instead of Google. Along with search, Google is also a leader in maps, and many tech companies rely on Google's maps, including the ride service Uber. But it seems Uber is trying to steer away from its dependency on Google and wants to buy Nokia's Here Maps. The New York Times has sources saying Uber put down a $3 billion bid to buy Nokia's Here Maps, but automakers like BMW, Audi, and Mercedes-Benz may also be in a bidding war over Nokia's maps. As more services tie into location, tech companies see mapping becoming increasingly important. And, as you may know, Uber wants to create a fleet of driverless cars. That future world would require a good mapping system. We may know who wins the bidding war by the end of the month. Meanwhile, Uber's main car service competition, Lyft, is trying to gain more passengers with a new Verizon partnership. The <laughs> Lyft app will come preloaded on all Verizon Android phones. Another area changing quickly is online video. It appears that Spotify, a music streaming company, wants to add web video to its business. The Wall Street Journal reports Spotify is talking to companies that specialize in distributing video for YouTube. We may learn more about that at an event Spotify is holding for media in New York on May 20th. So yes, Spotify is going after a piece of YouTube, and so is Reddit. The site announced it's making original video to become a larger force in media. For starters, you'll see videos for Ask Me Anything Q&As. With all this news of streaming, let's take a moment to remember the 2.1 million people in the U.S. who could not enjoy any of this because they're still using AOL dial-up to get online through a phone line. Yes, that means this sound is still part of life for more than 2 million people, and many of those people are paying $20 a month for it. AOL shared the numbers in its quarterly earnings report. In most cases, people are sticking with dial-up because either they don't want to change or it's hard or expensive to get broadband where they live. And what makes it so sad is that websites are gunked up with junk, like tracking ads and autoplaying videos, so dial-up customers probably can't load most website pages before it times out. Today, most broadband speeds are about 200 times faster than dial-up up. That's your tech news update. You can head over to CNET.com for more. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. Goodbye.